Yeah, hi, uh, my name's Chris Tanner and I'm the chef patron of the Barbican Kitchen in Plymouth and the Kentish Hare in Bidborough, Kent. I first uh, entered the industry uh, at the age of 12, um, worked part-time in a local restaurant where I was originally from in Kent. Um, it started off really, I went to sort of do a little bit of washing up and cut the grass and ended up uh, staying in the kitchen and really just caught the bug. Um, spent five years at that site, um, worked evenings and weekends. Uh, subsequently after that went on to um, study at college, which I think is an important part of the, uh, of the education and actually the training process as well. Um, I've been in the industry for, I've worked in kitchens for this year will be 39 years. Um, in the UK, um, I've worked in New York, I've worked in France, uh, London, uh, Devon and Plymouth. Th th this industry, uh, although it's very hard, um, is an extremely rewarded industry. Uh, you, the beauty of it is that people will always eat and you can get to travel. Um, I was in, uh, fortunate to spend quite a few years with the Roo Brothers in London. Uh, about six years actually, uh, and I worked at their flagship site, the Gavroche, um, a few years ago. And uh, I was actually fortunate enough, he, um, Albert Roo, uh, who sadly passed away last year, uh, sent me to work uh, in New York. So at 19 years old, um, I was working at Rockefeller's Old Hunting Lodge on Lake Saranac, a place called The Point Resort which was a completely different world. Six million acres of Adirondack mountains and um, just a completely different culture. Um, even then, you know, America, it wasn't just all about burgers and hot dogs, etc. cetera. Um, I, I learned some fantastic skills uh, along the way on that um, and sort of, sort of developed the, you know, the cooking and my, my palate, etc. cetera. Um, that's the good thing with it, you can get to travel um, so, and there's even more opportunities now uh, for people going into the industry and such a diverse mix of cultures and, and food, whether it's, I think the colleges are a very, very good foundation. Um, City College Plymouth, um, we've had probably a dozen guys come through over the years that will take on two stroke three year apprenticeships. So we work really closely with, with sort of young apprentices. I would um, highly recommend uh, the, the hospitality industry, um, not just to younger people as well, but um, slightly older age groups as well. It can be very flexible. Um, you can incorporate skills from uh, the front of house, the service, um, the, the, not the, the provenance of the food, the knowledge, how the dishes are composed, cellar management, um, wine knowledge, etc., and you know, and the costings as well. Plymouth, Plymouth now is, 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 is just, it has been on the up for quite some time. Um, I think there's more, more to come, which is good. So to actually actively, um, you know, look at the flexibility of what you can do within the catering industry, hospitality, you know, and there are different divisions of it as well, from hotels to cafes to um, uh, schools to universities, um, uh, across the board. So the, spe the actual spectrum of it is, um, I think is great, and it's, and, it, and it's a good time now to actually get in and uh, embrace that.